So there you go guys, um, a few new bits in there, um, change around the scenery a little bit uh, from what you had from our previous videos that we showed around the shop. Um, he's got all the stuff in place so that it's all like COVID friendly, he's got the hand sanitizer, you wear your masks, uh, he's got a one-way system around the shop, only a certain number of people are allowed in the shop. So I went in there, luckily it was uh, quiet so I went first thing this morning, um, so I got a good rummage around and picked up a few bits. I will show you what I got. So I've um, got a few turtles for Ben got a couple of Donatello's so uh, both of these are 1991 um, so here we have head dropping Donatello there you go I think Ben's got a couple of his accessories not entirely sure if he's got all of them um, but he'll have fun completing this bad boy up um, he only needs Leo now he tells me um, so I will get that to him ASAP and uh, yeah he's gonna love that uh, we got another Donatello. Now this is probably my favorite thing I picked up, even though it's not for me, it's for Ben. Uh, this is Pro Pilot Don, with all his accessories. It's a wicked figure, and I'm gonna have a hard time, I don't even collect turtles, I'm gonna have a hard time handing this over to Ben. Um, so he's got his uh, his helmet, his little uh, obviously oxygen line there, American flagpole, and he's got his a uh, paper plane pistol. It's so good. All these things like come out, so like his parachute there, that will just come out of his backpack, so you know you can detach that and his helmet comes off. Uh, and even that unclips if you want it to unclip. So there he is, US Turtle Force. <laughs> it's a really cool figure. Hopefully Ben's really happy with that. He knows I've got it for him anyway, but uh, he just hasn't seen it in the flesh yet. Now then. There's just a couple more bits I got. I got uh, another sex horse figure, because I already had some accessories and I've got more on the way for this guy. That is Skulk. In really nice condition, the figure, but I already had the harness and his uh, sword there. Got his shield and a couple of other bits on the way. And then uh, I've just got to find his beast and then he'll be nice and complete. But yeah, cool line this is. Not really had many before. I had one random one, I think. So it's nice to have a few of these. And now, the last thing I picked up is for me. Um, and it's not anything I've had before. I, um, I've decided to pick up a few random carded figures um, from either because I like the card art or because it's a subject matter like a movie or something that I really enjoy. Um, so this is both because I like the card art and I really like the film. I got a Terminator figure. This is Terminator 2 Future War as you can see there. Now there's a few of these toys that came out in different cards. So there's like Terminator 3D, technically it was the same toy line but it just had like different card art. Uh, so this one is Hidden Power Terminator. There you can see him there. So basically that shoots out that way, I believe, as you can see from the back description there. And there's the whole line of toys there. So yeah, again, him, I've got him on the way, but on a different card back. So I'll show that off at some point. And I would really like to get my hands on the giant Terminator. Um, just gotta find one at a price I'm willing to pay for it. But yeah, I'm um, getting some of those racks with the hooks. So anything like this where it's not a punch that I have to punch out it's just a hook I can hang that on their display so he's gonna go up there so yeah it was great to go for a little toy hunt again haven't been anywhere like that since lockdown everywhere's been closed but yeah vintage toy monster Ian's back open now uh, he's Thursday Friday Saturday all his hours are the same as they were before um, so it's half ten till half five um, on a Thursday and a Friday and ten till five on a Saturday um, and yeah he's just that's every week. Doesn't change. So the only time it will be different, he'll put on his Facebook as if he's doing a Comic-Con or something, but I don't think he's going to be doing those for next year. Um, I did have some audio um, where I was talking to Ian. Um, sorry, some footage where I was talking to Ian, and uh, he was telling me about bits he's picked up and bits and pieces, but unfortunately had problems with the audio on that, so we had to scrap it. Uh, hence why he just got me now, explaining all of his opening times rather than him doing it. But yeah, please do go check out the store if you haven't already. Go back and look at previous videos where we've gone through the store properly. It's not just me doing a quick whiz round. Um, and for all you Hasbro nuts, um, I know Hasbro is quite hot at the moment. He has just had loads of more uh, Hasbro in. Um, he's got some that he's getting graded in bits and pieces. So, yeah, do go check that out if you're into your Hasbros. But thanks very much for tuning in, guys. Um, again, come down and uh, check out the shop. Come down and check out um, the other places and bits and pieces um, that are going to be opening up again. Support all your local toy shops. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at a toy fair again soon. In the meantime... Keep up much.